What's up guys, this is Adrian with Scrape Creators and today I'm gonna to show you how to scrape YouTube using an Appify Actor. And today we are going to be using my Appify Actor, the Scrape Creators slash best YouTube scraper. And it's really fast as well as way cheaper than alternatives. This is $2 per 1,000 results. And then just to show you another one, this is $5 per 1,000 results. So pretty significant price difference. And what we can do with this one, and I have other ones for YouTube, uh, etc. But what we can do is scrape search queries. We can even get the transcripts if we toggle that. You have to set a max amount of videos. And then we can even just enter specific video URLs as well as channel URLs and then get the videos of those channels. And then you can filter some of the search results. So by upload date, sort by, or just if you want the shorts, you can search by shorts. And you probably wanna increase the memory on this one because there's going to be a lot of data, a lot of things running, especially if you get the transcripts, then definitely gonna to want to set that a little bit higher. Uh, but let's just try to search these queries right now. So these are the yeah, search queries that we want to run. If you want to add one, then you can do this. Um, yeah, let's just add another search query, which should be, oh, no, it's in, like, no, NBA. Playoffs are happening right now. All right, so I think that finished. We got the green light right here. Duration, nine seconds. So if that's true, that is pretty fast. And then for some reason, it just takes forever to run or to, forever to show. I really don't like that. So it looks like we had 219 results, so that looks like it worked. And yeah, nine seconds. Pretty dang fast if I do say so myself. So then you can yeah, paginate through them here. We can see all of the good stuff here. You get yeah, channel, the ID of the video, the length, publish time, thumbnail, your view count, etc. Am I going to jail for web scraping? Am I going to jail for web scraping? Then you can view the JSON also. If you just want to do that, you can see the channel. So pretty cool, pretty fast, right? If I do say so myself. Now let's try to get the transcripts. So we're just going to toggle that on, make sure that our memory has increased, which it should be, and then run this puppy. Okay, so finished in 36 seconds. Obviously a lot slower, but hey, we got the transcripts, or let's check out, make sure we got the transcripts. So check this out. We have a transcript column, and we can't really see the transcript. We can't really see how long they, they are. Whoa, right? Pretty cool. Pretty, whoa, pretty cool, whoa, <laughs> what? See, this is why you have to increase the memory if you're getting a transcript, it is enormous. Oh my goodness, who is talking this much? What is this for? Oh, because it's a four hour video, holy cow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's gonna kill your memory Wow, but you can get all those transcripts. Pretty cool. In, you know, 36 seconds, not bad. Um, all right, so that's the search. Now let's say we wanna do some filters. Like if we wanna search by upload date, then we should get some of the um, like Dallas and Memphis game or the Heat and Hawks game, maybe. And my usage is just about there. Oh, I forgot we uh, didn't toggle the transcripts back, my bad. Okay. Right, so it's from 12 minutes ago, 26 minutes ago, perfect. Grizzlies and Heat. Um, yep, Mavs and Grizzlies, sweet. So now, like, say you just want to get the shorts, you can do that. Anyway, I don't know if I want to show all of that and run it. Whatever. All right, now let's try to get individual video URLs. So let's go to, like, my YouTube, and then let's get this one. I found a way to scrape Ohio State student emails. And let's enter that here, not this one. And then let's go ahead and get the transcript, so we'll toggle that on. And then run this, and this should be pretty quick. Boom, six seconds. Oh, one cool thing is that you can get the watch next videos. Um, I just wanna make sure that the transcript is on here. Boom, right there. So this one is called actually the transcript only text. So you can get the transcript where it is. Let's see, where is that one? So the transcript, you can get the text as well as the start and end time for the text or you can get just the transcript only text, which maybe I should have just returned that as transcript because I did that with the other ones, but well. But yeah, so cool that you can also get the watch next videos. 
you can see these here. And blah, blah, blah. So that's nice if you're trying to collect a lot of YouTube videos or channels, you can just hit one video and then scrape the watch related and continuously do that like recursively to get more videos and channels. And yeah, we get all of the stats, so that's cool. So let's get rid of that one and then do channel URLs. And then we could do like uh, is it the Pat McAfee channel. Oh, we need the entire URL. So let's go here and then do the Pat. No, McAfee, Pat McAfee channel. Boom. So we're gonna enter that. And then we don't wanna get the transcripts, but let's get his last, let's get his last 100 videos. And obviously if you wanted more, you can just enter more there. So let's check it out. And is that true? That ran in six seconds and we got 120. Dang, daggum. Really fast. Yeah, so we can get all of these. Yep, and then you can get the transcripts if you want it also. And yeah, if you want more Appify actors, then you can check out Appify uh, slash Scrape Creators. So these are all the Appify actors that I have that are all really inexpensive compared to the other um, actors currently out there. And if you just want an API of YouTube, then you can always go to scrapecreators.com. This is the docs, docs.scrapecreators.com. And you can just use the API directly, which is much easier than if you're trying to call the API on Appify. And then even if you don't know how to code or yeah, you just want AI to do it for you, then we have this nice button that you can copy uh, for AI and then it can write the code mostly for you. You might have some errors, but just double check that. And then, yeah, we have APIs for all the social medias as well as the ad libraries. So you can use that instead if you would like to. So that's it. Thanks.